It's by no doubt that Diana and Bahati are the most talked about couple in this nation. I'm a Beba Bahati even. Like a small boy, he was carried up in her arms. Because most people concentrating on hate, this is the story of how Diana Marwa has sustained her marriage with Bahati despite all the hate, the criticism, negativity and mixed reactions by the public being hated for actual no reason. In the 2010s, Bahati was an upcoming gospel star, a promising talent which from far you could tell this was going to be a superstar. He dropped songs like Mama and Barua and so many people loved it and by this time he and Will Paul had put gospel music on the path in Kenya. It was by no doubt that this was some of the two most promising talents. But the story of how Bahati and Diana met was during a video shoot. Diana would be a video vixen in his song Mopenzi. According to some of the interviews and how this talk, this talk is like, Bahati had noticed Marwa had been stalking her on the internet. I mean, not, not that bad stalking, but being fond of someone and liking someone. And when he heard that Diana was going to be the vixen, replacing Tracy Waidera, who was supposed to be the original vixen in this video, and he couldn't get any better than this. Video performed well. The song was nice. And people even started assuming Bahati had married, which he had to clarify. But this would only be followed by meetups, follow up, having tea and lunch together. And one day, Bahati would drop the bomb on Diana, saying, you know, we are in a relationship, right? And Diana was confused. He was three years younger. They were just friends. Diana was going through some things, and Diana wasn't really the religious type that bah Bahati was. Bahati was a gospel artist who loved God, who was deep in Christianity. Thank you to me as a promise. And I promise world, God stay kuwacha. But on the other side, Diana was a girl of the world. A girl who loved to party, who loved to have a good time. And she would state that in their meetups, sometimes she would attend them drunk and miss them. Well, drunk way too much. Yes, she was confused but they had already gotten close. They had already been spending time. They had already been talking things that we don't really know. I guess they were sharing their deepest thoughts, secrets, growing fond of each other, even without knowing. Diana decided to give it a shot. It's worth noting that Bahati had never posted a lady on Instagram. And one day, Bahati, in a birthday party, in Ivasha, I post a picture of him, prayer partner. Wow, the world goes, what the fuck? Everyone knows Bahari is a gospel artist, and Diana, well, some people do know her, uh, and it's a good number of people. She isn't that level of Bahati celebrity, but some people know her, and they know their way. Social media will always focus on the negativity and right from there a problem was created. People came to realize that Diana was older than him and this has been one of the things that they have faced each and every day for the past years. People calling Diana Shosho. I am broke. People saying that she only married Bahati for money. She has previously stated that she was doing fine with her sponsors, with her barbers. But when she decided to settle with Bahati, she cut all of those people just to concentrate on this one guy who was spiritually grown in an ambitious life. First of all, let's talk about the age difference. Winnie, <laughs> Mina
It was so much that in the first two years, Diana was usually affected by these comments. People calling her Shoshu just despite being just three years older. It's it's cause <laughs> it's cause he was it's cause he is younger than me actually. So for me, it three was years. three years. It was something that really affected her. She initially wasn't going to date Bahati because of the age difference, but she had fallen in love with Bahati. And she would be scrutinized for years, days, every minute, every post because of this. Winning this battle would not only mean their togetherness, but would grow this couple to the next level. Bahati would continue to rise in music, drop more hits, and Diana would grow her channel. With Bahati's fame, of course, as her channel would obviously concentrate on their lives, but this growth did bring another growth. Bahati gradually would be changing. Due to constant hate and everything they did being posted on social media and people focusing on the negativity, Bahati would slowly start to lose the battle of faith to the world. Bahati would be smoking cigar, Bahati would be doing this and that. They would be posting more than they can, more than they should. I kind of think this whatever they post is a genius strategy by Diana because previously Bahati has said Diana helped him grow professionally while he on the other side helped Diana grow spiritually and this cannot be doubted because despite everything they do you can easily see that Diana she doesn't mean to be the perfect Christian girl the perfect church girl but you can see the growth of faith in her and they would now start attacking Bahati calling him Toto Diana yes for the age but also how Bahati was acting remember Bahati hit when he was a child he's never had that chance to really grow up and the only time the only person he would grow up with was Diana hence his behavior around Diana Rule number two. So rule number two. Don't value me. Don't value my opinion. You don't value my opinion. So what do I evaluate? When you become an Indian, even do you need a beer? Even do you need a beer? Can you find a beer? Can you find a beer? Even do you need a beer? I turn and sleep. Even do you need a beer? Okay, 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 okay. And that's what guys are saying. They did grow and they did show much in their big hit show on NTV, Being Bahati. It's something that generated a lot of income but also took Bahati to the next level as an artist and as a businessman. Diana knows how to do business, knows how to withstand social media. As good as it is, it has also caused some problems. Remember when Bahati opened EMB Records? It was a promising label with new gospel artists, fresh artists like David Wanda, Mr. Seed who was already established, and many more were birthed out of this label. Okay, Bahati has suffered a major blow after one of his talented artists decided to leave uh, EMB Records. We don't know much of what happened, we don't know the actual truth. But the public has always had an eye on Diana being the key factor of this label breaking up. Tukiangalia tuseme Diana alikuwa nausika katika management ya label sasa wakati amekuja wamekua wapenzi ama Diana alikuwa nausika katika upande upi sana sana katika party ya bati. Tari kumuongelea sana sababu hiyo ni familia unajua ni bibi yake. Lakini maali yuko anajua kwamba aliakikisha wisdom ame. Diana has also come under criticism for her dancing seductively with KRG despite being married. Her dance with Morgan, who is her son, did also raise eyebrows and division in the comment section. But hell broke loose when Diana came forward. Willie Paul is a racist. Willie Paul, you attempted to rape me. This blew everything they had done out of the picture and they sat on top. Before Diana and Bahati got married, they were friends with Willie Paul. They were close and they used to hang around each other. What they don't understand is 
I don't know how one would feel seeing one of your friends getting married to your biggest rival. We all know Bahati and Willy Paul have been rivals since the early days because they started music at the same time and they go to hit at the same time. But this would it mean that Willy Paul would rap Diana for this? And this case got too much attention and that is where the man himself the critic of all critics and Rukipe got on the story as Willy Paul was trying to say this wasn't true despite being known as a notorious boy he wouldn't go to that extent people now started attacking Diana Diana was wearing white dress. Alikuwa makeup on. Mimi hata siko na mjua. Alikuwa makeup on mbele. By that time she was not famous. The whole setup ya kukuza kwa camera na kuiongelea that already had like a hidden agenda to it. Kibe was now all on the premises bringing every shade that they were being thrown at. But the Bahatis being the Bahatis. Andrew Kibe is a content creator, a very smart content creator. For me, I can tell him, good job. Mm -hmm. He's doing a good job in what he's doing. And even though they much ignored the case against Will Paul, there is no really substantial evidence that could prove that Will Paul had done it. Maybe she was crowd chasing. On the look of things, from what I saw with my naked eyes, the, la the lady was not held against her wishes. The car, actually the driver's car was open when Paul came, even when the song was playing, the driver's car was open. Me, I was there. We were watchmen at the gates. We were getting. So, yeah. And maybe this time she had gone too far. And you would kind of think that this would be the end of them. How would you constantly keep on flourishing in an industry where we are literally getting the cancel culture. Despite all this, Bahati has always stood with his wife. Never has the Bahati come to social media to criticize his wife. And Diana has done nothing but the same. They have now made songs together. Diana is a rapper. <laughs> Whether she's getting enough respect for it, she's getting good views and showing that her music is performing well and she has an audience and fans. I can say that Diana has learned how to convert the hate to clicks and clicks to money. She for sure is blamed for changing behind her. But of course, time changes and people grow. So we can't put that all on Diana. What most people don't like to acknowledge is how much Diana has changed as a person. From being the club girl to being a mom and a great wife. To being a great employee, a great wife and a supportive partner. When these people comment the hate on their pages, do anyone think how it would feel to be a subject of social media scrutiny? exaggerated dramas, piles of lies, constant and meaningful hate. Most of this hits light at Diana's face, but she is for sure a strong woman that she has faced all this and still told with Bahati, still been on this marriage up to now. The media, some of the social medias and these gossip sites have always tried to present the Bahatis in a negative way because they know this is a story that sells. What they don't credit enough is how strong these two are, how inevitable they have remained, and how Diana was the perfect, perfect choice for Bahati.